Let's take a look what we have in terms of your radar map this morning where we have been seeing a little bit of uh, increase in cloud cover. And with that through today, just like yesterday, we have a risk of some afternoon showers. Winds today will be a little bit stronger. They'll be out of the southwest about 30 to 50. Daytime highs of 7 through the overnight tonight, just slightly below that freezing mark. We get a hint of warmth tomorrow. It'll be rather quick, 16. Warm, wet, and windy gusts up to 60 to 70 kilometers per hour. Then a sharp cold front moves through. And that means for Friday, a little bit on the gloomy side. Temperatures right around 4. Winds out of the east, 15 to 20 kilometers per hour. That's a look at your forecast. All right, well, right now, eastbound 401, all collector lanes are still closed from Port Union over to Brock Road. Uh, this is for an ongoing fatal collision investigation. Express lanes are still open through that stretch, but what's happening now, starting to see a backup developing westbound on the 401. Everybody's slowing to look at that situation, so we can turn our attention to those cameras on the westbound 401, starting to see that backup now. It's just slowing slightly uh, as you head just west of Brock Road. Uh, so keep that in mind as well. Eastbound 401, you won't be able to get onto that route from Port Union, from Whites or from Liverpool, Brock Road. All of those ramps are shut down. Uh, and uh, in the meantime, southbound on the 410, there's also this crash. It's just before the 401. Uh, looks like it's mostly on the shoulder right now, but it is starting to cause a slowdown as well on the southbound 410, just as you're approaching that 401. Uh, the rest of the drive is looking good, though. Gardner QEW combination, no problems to report. I'll send it back to you, Mel. And let's get back to our top story, and that is uh, the fatal crash on the eastbound 401 collector lanes in Pickering. Our Tammy Sutherland is live at the scene right now, Tammy, and uh, tows have arrived doing their work now. Yes, they have all three vehicles, Melanie, that are involved in this crash are now hooked up to tow trucks. One of them is now on a flatbed. Uh, we're on the north side of the 401, just in between White's Road and Brock. And uh, you can see here the flatbed, it's hard to tell, but the flatbed is driving away right now with one of the vehicles, presumably the vehicle with the victim who passed away in this crash. It happened at about uh, just after 1.30 this morning, and it has shut down, as Carrie had mentioned, the 401 eastbound collector lanes between Port Union and Brock Road. Now, it's a large stretch that has been shut down to allow for these vehicles to, of course, be towed away and for the investigation to continue. We are still waiting for an update from the OPP to tell us exactly when they expect this to open, but traffic is slightly slowing here, uh, going east and westbound on the 401 through this stretch. We'll, of course, bring you an update on when it's set to open. That likely will happen shortly. Now, that vehicles are starting to be taken away from the scene. Mel, I'll send it back to you. All right, Tammy, thank you for that, and we'll check in with you in just a bit. Meanwhile, to other news, investigators will be providing an update on suspected serial killer Bruce MacArthur this afternoon. MacArthur will also be appearing in court via video this morning. The 66-year-old landscaper arrested early January has been charged in the deaths of Salim Essen, Skanna Navaratnam, Andrew Kinsman, Majid Kahan, Sarush Mahmoodi, and Dean Lisowick. All six men disappearing from the area around Toronto's gay village between 2010 and 2016. Seven sets of remains were found by investigators at a Toronto home where MacArthur worked as a landscaper. Only three of those remains have been identified. Well, a new movie being shot about former Toronto Mayor Rob Ford has reporter Robin Doolittle upset over the casting. She helped break the news of Ford's drug use, but the film will follow a young male reporter, Robin Doolittle, sending out a couple tweets about the casting, saying sarcastically, I'm glad they're rewriting the fact that this was a female reporter who investigated Rob Ford. Why have a woman be a lead character when a man can do it? Am I right? And in another tweet, not begrudging Ben Splatt, just about the move in general. Ben Splatt, of course, who's been cast. Obviously, I'm biased, but man, I've seen a lot of stories by male reporters celebrated in movies. Now, the film called Run This Town is shooting in Toronto with Damian Lewis starring as Ford. The people behind the movie claim it's not based on Doolittle and is historical fiction.